Hi, hello everybody. This is Heather Lockett with Lasting Conversations. Today we are with Kim Marone. Hi, Kim. Hi, good morning. Hi, hi, hi. Kim is an artist. She is a coach. She does fun fundraising and she envisions the best for you in your lives. So welcome, Kim, and tell us all about what it is that you do. And I'm looking at what has to be a piece of your art in it back is. of you. We are zooming in. These are still lasting conversations on the road, summer 23. Um, I'm zooming in for a, a hotel overlooking Gloucester Harbor in Massachusetts. And Kim has joined us from her home and I'm looking at some amazing artwork in back of her. P please tell us all about that and all about you. Well, this piece I did a couple of years ago, I had never worked uh, in kind of a abstractish kind of mode. And uh, I wanted to use a little gold leaf, which I'd never used before either. And uh, so I just started to play. <laughs> that's that's what I do. I, it feels like playing. It doesn't feel like work at all. And uh, I just enjoy it. It's it's very it's a very spiritual feeling. It's it's almost like I know when I have to do a picture, and then I can leave it alone for a really long time. I just came from Atlanta, where my daughter lives, and she had this one huge uh, wall that was empty and she's like mom you know what I want for my birthday don't you <laughs> oh. so I said oh we're gonna make this real fun so she has a son that's 14 years old and I said okay Lorenzo we're gonna paint and he said what I said this is an abstract it's like you can do anything you want you can do anything you want so we just started taking brushes and throwing paint at the boy. It came out gorgeous. I mean, I was really surprised how beautiful it came out. Did you paint directly on the wall, almost mural oh. style or on a canvas? I, so I've done murals in the past and uh, I refuse to do murals for myself anymore because I've seen them get painted over and it's like oh. your heart hurts. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah you know and you move or whatever so now right. this was a, uh, this was like a 30 by 40 canvas oh huge though oh oh yeah I oh. like to do big work I don't like doing little stuff <laughs> oh my gosh so this is you and your grandson and did your daughter get involved as well no no she's like she's like um no I don't do that mom I'm like okay <laughs> <laughs> but you two must have had just a blast. You had a ball. And she posted it. It was so funny because a friend of hers said, I want to buy that 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 painting. And Lindsay said, Oh no, my mother did that for me. She'll make you one, but you can't have it. Wow. And how did your grandson feel during this process with his grandmother for his home? I mean, how yeah. spectacular a memory yeah. that is. Yeah, he he just I, I just gave him carte blanche. I said, whatever you want to do. You know, I figure I could fix it if I had to. <laughs> <laughs> but I bet you didn't. I bet you didn't have to. Well, it, there was a lot. We we a lot of times you do paintings in layers. So we put a lot over it. So it didn't look like, you know, his work and my work. It was right. cohesive. Right. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Oh, my gosh. So is that really your heart and joy or you you've got many you wear many hats. You have di many different passions. So what else is well, uh, the, the, up your the, alley? The coaching is really I've always said if if I had a choice to do anything in the world, it would be coaching because that's how much I love it. You know, you know nobody paid me a, a cent again in my life. I go, I'll be a coach. Yeah. <laughs> and what flavor there's so many different flavors there's the boot camp style there's the gentle right. breeze style there's um you know physical spiritual emotional all yeah. of the above what yeah. what flavor of coaching you are know, you that's really an interesting question because I've tapped into all the realms like right mm -hmm. now I'm challenging myself and I'm doing a, a Vino and Vision uh 100k boot camp um and I'm like, it's kicking my butt. I'm like, wow, you know, you really get very focused and you're told to do certain things. And whether you like it or not, you know, this is your journey and you've signed up. So sweetheart, let's do the work. 
So I'm challenging myself, I think, for the first time in a very long time, just to see the process and see what's happening to me in my mind when someone says something and I'm like, oh, no, <laughs> go away. And so it's it's putting yourself out there into the world and letting people know who you are on many levels. So I'm recording every day now and putting it on different platforms and just letting the world know who I am and what I do. And the other side of that is letting the world know that I'm doing this nonprofit, working for nonprofit to help fundraising for nonprofit and for schools and school clubs and things of that nature. So people in the community can raise money for events that mean a lot to them. Well, great. So I think you've tapped into um, three or four different things at the same time. So for the coaching, do you have clients that come to you for, for help in certain ways? Um, you know, it's really interesting. Um, if you look at my LinkedIn page, you'll see many different hats that I've worn. And one is that I worked with women for a very long time that had just gone through a divorce or a death. And that transition that happens for women, it's like, you know, what do I do now? Uh, right, you know, right. I just totally changed. So I've worked with women for a very, very long time and loved it. And now I I was literally on a boat one day and uh, a gentleman said to me, what do you do? And I'm like, I'm a life coach. He was like, I need a life coach. I was like, okay. <laughs> so, uh, and he was a very high powered executive that I never in my life thought that I would ever work with. And it was incredible. Um, he works for the UN and I was a little intimidated to be honest with you. And I was like, this is going to be interesting. Let's see where this goes. And it was remarkable. I had an incredible, um, helped him do a real deep dive in, about his life and who he is and how he learned to change because he had more of a realization in his life than he had ever had before. And I was like, kudos to me. You're pretty darn good, Kim. It was <laughs> like, you just do, I work very organically. You right. know, you throw the books away. There's nothing. This is you and me are sitting here. I can do it over Zoom. I, you can come to my house and just be there with that person. I mean, really be there with them and tap into their emotions and feelings and what they're going through and then let your coaching evolve. Well, you know, I really appreciate that you said it like that because my interviewer mind wanted to think of a particular question that, well, what is your process and blah, 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 blah. And then you answered it, oh. which is or organically. And, you know, you and I have met a few times and, and I think ultimately this is where we come into the same kind of resonance where when you're present with somebody, so much can unfold. And obviously there's a lot of training and people who are trained psychiatrists or trained this and trained that. That's very, very important, uh, medically speaking. And yet to be with someone as you're describing and utilizing some tools and trainings that you and I both have had, um, you have, we all have to have some substance behind us and experience. Yeah. That said, what you're really tapping into is the heart of somebody that perhaps has been gummed up in for some re multiple reasons. And that really is the coaching I can see becomes the unthreading. It's like the unthreading and the re-threading of the fabric of, of somebody. If that then becomes what they could use to re refocus their lives. Yeah. 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 So the passion that you have for that <clears throat> Or let's just say to have, um, you, you've been doing this in some form for quite a while. How have you seen changes either in your career and or the clients that you might be having? Uh, is there more of a receptivity and has there been more of a change? And I guess I'm coming from when we mentioned, say, Kyle Cease or Joe Dispenza or 
Um, right now we're all in a huge wave of change, but the change of how we're learning and doing things with clients or professionally and personally has changed into that's organic. It's changed into the simplified. It's changed into what is between me and me and even morphing away from guru statuses and all these other older come froms of having the proper book learned template. So I think, I think you understand where I'm going with the, there's a question in here, but I want you to go ahead and <laughs> well tap into what it is that I'm really saying here. I think where you're coming from or my experience, because mm-hmm. I have experienced, I've gone to a Joe Dispenza event and mm-hmm. I've listened uh, to Kyle Cease and it's all about going internally. It's all about right. meditating and going within because everybody says, you already know the answer. You just you right. keep looking out there for it. It's not out there. It's in here. Mm -hmm. So some people just go, you mean I have to sit still? Like, oh my God, you know? So it's a process, you know, you might be able to meditate for five minutes or, you know, online now they have these, YouTube, they have these great, even Joe Dispenza, you know, 30 Mm -hmm. minute morning meditations. So it's not like you have to sit there and be silent. It helps sometimes if you want to do that. And it's about just sitting and breathing. I mean, that's all you really have to do. And if you feel like you need a little help or you want to listen to some background music or even listen to somebody's voice, right? it's all helpful. You know, it just kind of depends on where you are in the process. And you can try a multitude of things through, you know, it's not like one fits all, as we all know. Right. But. Yeah, it's the um, coming into being and just being present. And I'm a Qigong uh, practitioner, and that's what it's all about. It's like coming in and letting your body, getting out of your head and getting into your heart is really Mm -hmm. what it's all about. It's really about. And when you... When you're still, then things start to flow like they've never flown, flowed before. Get that word out right. And I've noticed myself like, you know, I'm I'm a I walk the beach in the morning, and sometimes I just get these like aha, like these voices or like things that just tell me things. I'll I'll see something and then I'll have a a story that goes with what I see. It's really amazing. Uh and I'm like, huh, I never, I never looked at that in that way before. But because I gave myself the downtime and the quiet time, you know, you don't have to sit. I walk the beach, you know, it, right. you could swim. It's just a matter of being with yourself. I think that is so true. And um, being re- reminded of being in the Boston area and the city life and commuters, but we can do these moments those quiet moments heck even in traffic but especially if you're commuting on a train or a subway you just close your eyes and breathe and and we all can kind of create our own bubble if you will and to tap into that still voice that's within us or the voice that it does feel like it's from outside where did that even come from but you know these inspiring times or it's an inspirational moment or aha, or I hadn't thought of it that way. Um, when, yeah, when it's, when you're not tapping into the guy down the street, (laughs) that's a whole different, that's a whole different category. But I think these meditative moments, um, if, if you have an hour or you want to be in a yoga studio and with a whole group and ohm and chant, that's a beautiful thing as well, if that is fun, but that's not the hard, fast rule. We can do it on, a, on planes, trains, and automobiles and by the beach. And But what you're saying for sure is stepping out of our, our mind, our workaday mind, our gotta do it and the shouldas and the, oh, yeah. oh hold on, let's... Let's just see. I had a moment, interestingly, myself 
which must have been a cue for me, even though I was along a beautiful waterfront, but that my mind, I think, was worrying. It was on like worry frazzle yeah. that I hadn't even recognized. And my whole body literally stopped and my head turned. And there's a bunny rabbit. There's a little bunny rabbit doing its little little thing on the ocean's edge, which was very interesting. I wouldn't have expected yeah. that. Right. And But that was for me to just say, oh, nature. Oh, cute. And pause. And my journal is my, my phone, my camera, you know, that's my muse, the camera. And that brought me out of what I probably didn't even recognize. I was on worry frazzle wow. about like, where's my next stop or something like that on this trip. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so these nano moments, they, they don't even have to be planned. But when we can tap in and stop and pause for a moment, um, it's a beautiful thing. Where and and I will just add where we might not even recognize that we need it, mm. right? Yeah, are you finding that as well? And where your clients even? Yeah, well, interesting. You saw a rabbit, but sometimes yeah. I snakes. This morning, uh, yeah, there was a black snake, and I went. Oh, good morning. <laughs> it took me out of the nee, 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 to complete stillness. I was right. like, oh, oh, good morning. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it stops you in your tracks. It does. It it does. And um, I know there are a few Disney characters, but it's kind of funny that the ones that just maybe it's Cinderella, like, oh, hello. And all the animals are chirping around you and wow. Okay. This is nice. I'll take it. <laughs> you know, I even enjoy children don't have, have right. very filters and right. walking along. Hello. You know, that just say hello to everybody. And I'm like, that's oh, right. Such a gift. Right. You know? Right. A- well, and look at the boat or there's a star or, I mean, the wonder of it all. Yeah. 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 yeah the wonder just yeah so adorable so let's kind of segue from that into yeah. your envision and what is that the envision and the fundraising those two things that so, are part of your joy yeah so i just created a um i guess you'd call it a meetup uh for entrepreneurs and nonprofits every thursday at 5 30 to 7 30 at the uh, farmer's table at the North Palm Beach Golf Club. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to invite people to come and chat and have a drink or have an appetizer and really, you know, like get to know the community and see how we can help each other. Well, that's great. And what is it that you would, what is your vision for Envision? Well, I really want to help. And, and promote schools and nonprofits so that they can get the funds that they need for the projects that they have on hand. Mm-hmm. Are there groups that you're working with individually? Uh, and I know Palm Beach County is ripe with tons and tons of, of organizations. Yeah. And more importantly, even the small groups um, that probably are not even uh, classrooms and such, they're not even formally part of a group but they're they actually really could use some help yeah 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 Yeah. oh i i would be happy to reach out to anybody i am going to be calling uh a lot of the schools just to to make contact Mm -hmm. and nonprofits as well yeah so and is this um for fundraising for just financially, or you're also here to do some mindfulness work, or what is it that oh, you yeah. are involved with? Thank you for asking that part. Mm-hmm. So the the fundraising is centered around art. Mm-hmm. So we do a project with all the people that come and gather. And you know, I tell people you can be a stick figure person. This is not about the art. This is really right. about coming together meeting other people, having a drink or a conversation and just being in the moment and enjoying yourself. And whatever, whatever happens on the canvas happens on the canvas and not to beat yourself up, which is part of the process. So you get to do, I get to do a little coaching around that. 
and allow yourself to be just where you're at and allow it. Don't, don't, don't mess with that. Just let's have fun here. And then if the person wants to know more about themselves based on what they've done, they can have private sessions with me. Right. Well, that sounds wonderful. So it also feels like you're tapping into a sense of community. And here at Lasting Conversations, we're all about community. So is that part of your um, your own conversations, if you will? Yes, absolutely. I I really want community to gather and to, to really help and support each other as much as possible. Do you work with children as well or mostly the adults and uh, teachers and such? Well, it can be a combo. It can be adults and and kids, you know, depending right. on, you know, what it is that they're that they want to uh, do fundraising with. Yeah. I I have also I'm also uh, certified with John Maxwell to work with his uh, bullying program, which I've done in the past as well and gone to schools and uh, after school programs and spoke to the kids about bullying. So tell us a little bit more about that. Obviously, this is anti-bullying. And um, what is it that is kind of specific for that particular wheelhouse that you can bring forward? Well, it's, you know, it's really letting the kids start to understand, to empower them, to give them tools if and when something like this happens, Right. You know? you don't have to just take this there's there's a lot of different ways around it and how you can handle it and to really build their self-esteem and let them know that you know they're worth it they are great individuals regardless of your age or race it doesn't matter you're important and to really build them and help them understand that is i think just a wonderful thing for them to to hear because a lot of these kids, these after school programs, they don't hear that. They don't mm-hmm. get that reward that they need or that that a boy, you know, you're 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 really doing good and I'm proud of you. And right. Yeah, I wanna I want them to know that, that they make a difference. I think that's true. And mm-hmm. I know hopefully the teachers are having their time of, of some rest and some self-care themselves over this summer because when you s- said to uh, say to a child, I'm proud of you, I think we adults can forget to literally say those words sometimes. That, and, and especially in the pressure cooker of school and the testing and whatever is, else is happening is there very well could be. Uh, and I think especially as the older ones, so The focus can be at elementary, which is, those are our foundational years. But as it gets harder, come middle school, middle school, and then high school. High school is its own animal, but at least from my general perspective, and I don't have kids currently in high school, so I will table, you know, be mindful of that. But at least it feels like by high school, you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. You can see how you're beginning the, to get the adult treats, if you will, yeah. hard to say it like that, but that you get yeah. to drive, you get your independences, you, you're thinking and you get to, you know, you're not in it. Middle school is the middle of the middle. You've mm-hmm. been going to school all of your life. Mm-hmm. You're going to be going to school for another chunk of time. So that middle school, and, and then in middle school, oh my gosh, the hormones and the changes you're no longer a little kid and you and you're not the adult version yet so it's a really really tricky time so the focus is of if and the adults in us and the teachers can remember the I'm, I'm proud of you for our 11 12 13 14 year olds yeah. that 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 might actually and and the kids who knows if they can take that in that's great if right. if they are looking at you like meh don't even, you know, talk to the hand. <laughs> They're receiving it in their hand, aren't they? Right. <laughs> they can still receive it. They might be hearing you. It doesn't look like they're hearing you, but they might be hearing you. So yeah. this work that you're doing it, so many others are doing is, is just vital. And um, I will just say real quick, kind of a, a, a plug for my friend Ray and um, the episode before, uh, I think it was number 36, mm-hmm. talking about 
teaching and where there are resources coming for the educators, for the families, and for the administrators to understand um, and be mindful of some signs that kids are under stress or there are things going on at home. And so you had mentioned hope. We get to see where the hope is. Mm. I think you had mentioned it or I heard that. <laughs> it, it, I think it's just on the table today. Where the hope is, is the help is here and the help, the resources for the teachers and then folks like yourself going into the schools also, or even mm-hmm. having these community tables and the art. These are all ways yeah. to say, hey, we're all in this together. Here's some fun. Um, yeah. But for the stress and anxiety that a lot of people are feeling, here are some methods and, and avenues and yeah. resources. Yeah. 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 So how uh, else are you spending your summer? Are you kind of gearing up for this fall educational season or um, what else do you have cooking down there? Yeah, no, I'm definitely gearing up to um, do a lot of uh, speaking and uh, fundraising for the community is really Mm -hmm. what my focus is right now. Yeah. In the past, I've also, uh, I've had the opportunity to work at Palm Beach State College and did a course. Um, I'm trying to think the name, what the name of the course was. It was a while ago. Unblock your mind, unblock your life. Unblock. And, yeah. Unblock your mind, unblock your life. Great. So I did a few semesters of that. And then I also worked, oh, I didn't, I volunteered my time at uh, Kaiser University and talked to their new students when they have new students enrolled. Yeah. Oh, great. See, that that stuff is vital too, you know, yeah. to have a good um, orientation. Yeah, yeah. So it was fun to, to speak to them and, you know, let them know this is the beginning of a great journey and there's going to be bumps. Mm-hmm. And can give them a few tools to get through those bumps when the times will come. Because <laughs> they will. Because they will. Because they, they will. will. That's right. And, but this is just it. You're not alone. There are people yeah. here that can, that can, you can reach out for help. Yes. Which yeah. is good. And then I'm, I'm going to tie it right back to the art. So yeah. um, where the color and the expression, are you still, while well, you're creating with your family, can we see your art someplace or well, you have? Yeah. I've never yeah. Uh, displayed it anywhere. Perhaps I oh. should. No, well, never. sure. Yeah. I'll make a plug for Brew House Gallery right there in Lake okay. Park. You that's can, right. That's right. I that's think that's a great idea. I really think that's a, a win, yeah. win, win for everybody because it's yeah. a fabulous place to get work out so that people can see it and experience it. Yeah. And then that's for cool. artists, it's very, very nominal. And if you sell some, fantastic, but it's a conversation starter. So there you are. It's yeah. Very true. Very. I think true. that would be a lot of fun for, for everybody, yeah. including yeah. you, so that we can see this art that I'm looking at. It gives off such love vibrations that uh, how fun would that be to see it out in the world? A good idea. I, I think I'll. Uh, I will definitely. I've been there a few times. Uh, it's uh-huh. a great place. Uh, I'm sure there are other places, but of course, that's that's the one closest to my heart. So it's right. right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And. Yeah. Uh, that, that would be that would be tons and tons of fun. So Kim, is there anything else you want to say about Envision or other pearls that you've got go you would like to share with us as we are um navigating our little chat? Yeah. The the only other thing I can say, and I, I say it to anybody that's interested in coaching or being coached, I always do a a free uh, complimentary uh, session prior to just to make sure that we're a fit. So people get some words of wisdom. And if they don't want to work with me, that's great. And if they do, that's wonderful as well. So that's great. And I think you you're, I'm feeling into what it means it has to vibe. And ultimately, maybe this goes back to the work of the, the other folks that we had mentioned being in presence with someone, if it can get to that wordless place. And so the coaching, if it, if you're vibing with somebody, 
that's great. And if it's not, then there are other people you could work with. But uh, yeah, I think, um, do you, do you have music? Is that another piece of your wheelhouse or mostly the color and the art and the so meditative? I'm a so I'm a dancer. Okay. So, so music is my life. <laughs> That's okay, part cool. I yeah. knew we had something else that so we <laughs> always have to really get in there. Like, wait a second. There's one more thing. There's more muse in her. So yes. Yeah. I love to dance. I learned to dance a long time ago. I, my first dance was East coast swing. And then I got, I was hooked. So uh, from there, fun. it's ballroom and then to Latin and to Argentine tango. <laughs> Well, that's even more fun because there's expressive dance, there's all kinds of dance, and then there's ballroom. So yeah. I love it. That's really cool. That is so fun. So Kim Maroon, how can people find you? They can find me on LinkedIn. I can give you my number right now. Sure. Um, it's 845-489-3221. And my website, or go to LinkedIn, and the name of my company, my LLC, is My Perfection in Progress. Beautiful. My Perfection in Progress. That's fantastic. It's from God. I went to sleep one night, and I said, okay, I have no idea what to call this company. I woke up in the morning, took a piece of lipstick, and wrote it on my mirror. And that was it. <laughs> Oh, that's great. That's great. Kim, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. This, I appreciate it. This has been lots of fun. And thank you for listening, everybody. Please be sure to like, review, and share this podcast. And if you'd like to be part of the conversation, send emails to podcasts at lastingconversations.com and find us on Facebook at Lasting Conversations. This is Lasting Conversations. We get to the heart of everything. <laughs>